Hello. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a Mandalorian Season 3 Chapter 1 Summary. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more details. So let's start the video. Mandalorian Season 3 Chapter 1 Cast The cast of Mandalorian included Emily Swallow as the Armorer, Carl Weathers as Grief Karga, Giancarlo Esposito as Moff Gideon, Omid Abtaki as Dr. Pershing, Amy Sidaris as Peli Mato, Christopher Lloyd, Tim Meadows. The official synopsis of the series reads, The journeys of the Mandalorian through the Star Wars galaxy continue. Once a lone bounty hunter, Din Djarin has reunited with Grogu. Meanwhile, the New Republic struggles to lead the galaxy away from its dark history. The Mandalorian will cross paths with old allies and make new enemies as he and Grogu continue their journey together. This doesn't tell us that much, but the possibilities are endless. The end of Season 2 felt like a pretty final point in The Mandalorian, leaving a lot of speculation as to what will happen in Season 3. Initially, it was believed the post credit scene might have been included to set up a whole new story revolving around Boba Fett, Timura Morrison, and Fennec Shand Ming-Na Wen. Well, it did, but it was the book of Boba Fett, not strictly a Mandalorian storyline per se, so much as a spin-off taking place alongside The Mandalorian. Fans who were all caught up with the book of Boba Fett already know the deal, but in case you missed this juicy tidbit, here it is. The final episodes of Boba Fett set up the premise for the next season of The Mandalorian as Din and Grogu were reunited and the final scene flew away together. Which is something of a relief. The very premise of the show looked in danger when Grogu and Mando have pulled apart. We truly thank the maker that they're back together again, and it sounds like Pascal does too. It was scary, wasn't it? To be separated like that, Pascal said via Empire. John Favreau and Dave Filoni, showrunners, called me and they told me that they would be bridging seasons two and three with the book of Boba Fett as far as Mandalorian and Grogu were concerned. I just thought that was brilliant. What I didn't expect is such a beautiful, lonely episode that Bryce Dallas Howard directed so incredibly, and also for the reunion to be precious, but also just quite sudden and natural. Speaking to people, Giancarlo Esposito has also hinted at what's in store during The Mandalorian season three saying, we're living in a universe that is huge and that has so much to explore. So I think the show is going to start to lay the groundwork for the depth and breadth that's going to come in Season 3 and Season 4, where you're really going to start to get answers. Bryce Dallas Howard, who directed the Season 2 episode of The Harris, chatted to Digital Spy about the show's willingness to explore the wider universe and include elements that a more casual Star Wars fan might not be familiar with. I think it's a really fine balance, of course, she said. As an actor... I'm familiar with that kind of question because, for example, with working in the Jurassic franchise, it's like, oh, we can have fun with some deep cuts for the fans, but at the end of the day, it's about a good story, well told. What is that balance? How might something that has been established in the Lost World or whatnot play a factor in the storytelling for Jurassic World, Dominion? She added, if you're telling a story that is a biopic and there's a bunch of smaller characters, but you can go and read about all of them because they existed and their lives are well documented and whatnot, it's only going to better inform the biopic that's centering on the one character. Because you will have these fully fleshed out other characters, that even though it's not centering on them, are a part of the narrative. These quotes make a lot more sense now considering the spin-offs that tie to the show. Rangers of the New Republic, Ahsoka, and the Book of Boba Fett are set during the same timeline as The Mandalorian. So don't be surprised when they connect as Boba Fett already has to the main show in some capacity. In fact, Season 3 may set them all up directly. While we don't know much yet about Rangers of the New Republic, the Ahsoka spin-off was pretty much a given already following the character's live-action debut in The Mandalorian Season 2. And Boba's solo venture is already out there, of course. The exciting part about Mandalorian is that it started with this very simple and sort of elemental relationship, where the Mandalorian met this young child and how it affected him, director and executive producer Rick Famuyiwa was said. And I think all the decisions he's made since coming in contact with the child has sort of raised the stakes in terms of the storytelling of the show, and we've just been following that to sort of its natural place as he's experienced meeting people outside of his own creed and understanding what it means to be a Mandalorian. So as we get to season three, is merely a sort of culmination of that. We started with our original Mandalorian, but as the teaser said, he's not the only one. And what does that mean? So this season is really about bringing all that together. So that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more videos.